we're going to uh, start the water, get it nice and warm. Notice that I don't have rings, any other paraphernalia on my uh, hand. Um, one thing that you should always do is make sure that your nails are clipped. Dr. Jacobs here is going to be going through the same procedure. Um, I actually clipped my nails this morning, so they look um, relatively good. And then uh, an important part of um, scrubbing is um, the important part of scrubbing and preparing the surgeon is contact time, as you'll learn uh, with preparing the surgical patient. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my chlorhexidine impregnated um, surgical brush and sponge and lather up, lather all the way up to and including my elbow, just a touch above and to make sure that I have good contact time. Now, I've come directly from another surgery, and so I have not been out in the barn, but if you've been in the barn, you've been uh, with animals, other patients, and of course, importantly, you may need to do a gross scrub um, even before you're um, preparing as I am here. So make sure you don't walk into the scrub room with obvious uh, contamination. No matter how clean you think you are, you should always spend time cleaning your fingernails. Um, it's amazing to me that even though I think I'm clean, the amount of crud that you'll find underneath your fingernails. Now notice, all the while that I'm cleaning my fingernails, contact time is occurring with my uh, scrub on my arm. So I'm not going to count on that, but it's a nice extra amount of contact time that my chlorhexidine has with my arm. And now we're ready for the surgical scrub. We're going to again lather up. The principle here is to spend five minutes scrubbing each and every surface of your hands and arm, realizing that it's a gradient. This is the, the cleanest part is the tips of your fingers. The dirtiest part is near your elbow. And we're not going to go from fingers to elbow. I, I do one other thing too, is I, I like to scrub my hands first, um, and then um, rather than scrub one arm and scrub the other. So I'll scrub the fingernails, tips of my fingers, and then do sort of a zonal or regional scrub here, making sure that I get all surfaces of my hands. I try to get all surfaces of my hands 10 times each. So. One, two, three, four, five, back and forth. Five times two is 10. So I try to um, use a, a system that gets 10 scrubs per hand or arm part. And then of course I need to get the, the back of my hand. Now one of the places that's hard to get is right between your fingers. Make sure that you get that area very well. And basically you spend five very long minutes scrubbing. Probably more important than scrubbing would be the contact time. So a five total minutes of contact time is probably more important than five total minutes of scrubbing. So I've done one hand. Now you repeat the same procedure with the other hand. Now again, some surgeons do one hand and do their arm. Um, I prefer to do one hand and the other hand, one hand and the other hand, one arm, other arm, and then repeat the arm. So just kind of like a zonal scrub. Hand. 
the background, you can see that the, the patient is being prepped. One of the principles of surgery is hopefully within reason, the surgeon and the patient arrive in the surgery room prepped about the same time. Second scrub on my right hand now. Again, recall scrubbing is a gradient, so I'm trying to scrub the most important portion, which is my hands first, then I move subsequently to my arms. Once I get done with that, my arms, I do not go back to my hands. Notice how I'm holding my arms up. Hopefully all the time in order for fluid and scrub to drain from my hand to my elbow and not vice versa. Again, with the principle being there's a gradient here. And while none of my arms or hands should be considered sterile, what I'm trying to do is maintain this gradient so my hands, tips of my fingers, my hands, are the cleanest part of the entire field that I struck. So, it's been approximately five minutes. Remember, I had more contact time on my arm. I discharged the, the uh, uh, surgical scrub brush now. Some surgeons leave this, um, the uh, residual soap on. I do sort of a half rinse. So I have residual soap on my hands. Again, notice how I'm letting the, the uh, water now drip from my hands down to my elbows. 